Hello everyone, Robert here with the Tech Geek 311 tips and tricks to an app I did previously. If you want to see this app uh, review that I did, just go ahead and go in the description below or you can uh, hit on my annotation and you can go ahead and check it out. Now this app uh, called Timeful is a productivity app for the iPhone. I want to scroll down here to the bottom though and show you it's in version 1.7.1. And last update actually was April of this year. Now, the thing about this app though, I've spoken with the company and they said that they are now working with Google. So they said they will still support the app, fix any issues with it, but they're not going to be adding anything more. So that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, the two, this last update on this app, kind of made it less user friendly. So just adding your your to-dos in here, your tasks, your projects has really kind of messed the app up. But I'm going to show you today some tips and tricks on how you can make this app still uh, user-friendly by using two of the, the items that they have in there. Now if you want to use the other items and do seven days a week or whatever you want to do, that's up to you. But if you want to just simply add your to-dos in there per day, whatever time, then I'm going to show you these little tips and tricks. So we're going to get out of this and we're going to go into the app itself. Now in here, of course, you have all your, your calendar events plus your to-dos. The to-dos are the ones with the little um, circle. You can go through each month. You can see in here all your little events, all your stuff. And go through all your, all your items. So you have a little calendar icon. Click on that. It gives you your entire calendar view. You have your settings icon, you can hit all your settings in there. You have your add button on the bottom and you have your to do's on the bottom as well, on the right. So that's all the same as what it used to be prior to this update. But here's the, here's the mess up. Okay, so let's say we're gonna go to add. Now, instead of just having your add screen where you can just add your to do's, they threw in all this other mess. They threw in to do, habit, project, event, and quick add, which is all nice and fancy if you are a person that schedules your stuff for seven days a week, three days a week, four days a week, or whatever. But if you're a person like me who schedules everything per day, this really messes things up. I'll give you an example. I'm going to go into quick add. Okay, under quick add, I'm just going to type in here to test. Okay, now. You notice there's nothing else I can add. Once I hit add it, it's going to throw me into finding a time today. Boom. Just threw me into there. I didn't want that time. So now I have to go back into it again and I have to go in there and I have to edit it. This is kind of a mess to have to do the editing and all that. But let me show you a little, little tip here on how you can do it easier. There's a little arrow on the top next to where it says test. So not the one that says today. I'm going to tap on that. You're going to get in here, due date today, duration, approximately 50 minutes, which you can change that, 30, 45, and so forth. And then it's going to give you this preferred times, which I didn't like. So you're going to tap on this. Instead of choosing any one of these two, it's going to be work or personal work or personal hours, you're going to want to hit more options. When you hit more options now, you're going to get what you want, which is what it originally had. Right down here, it says at approximately. When you hit on approximately, now I can choose the time I want. So let's make it for 2 p.m. today. We're going to hit that back arrow on the left. Once again, hit the back arrow on the left. Now you can see it's going to say 15 minutes today at approximately 2 p.m. with notifications on. Hit the done on the top right. And now you've noticed that it's placed it in the correct order where I wanted it. That's quick add. So instead of going with their mess, you can do that. So now let's go ahead and we're going to delete that one, get that out of there. Let's go ahead and do another one. Now we're going to go into to do, which is the one on the top. This one I think is much more intuitive in the way of setting it up without having to go back and forth. So let's say we go into here and we're going to say the internship with, I don't know, timeful, let's say, just as an example. Okay, the internship with Timeful. I'm going to hit that arrow on the top right. Now you see what it's given me here. 15 minutes in the next 7 days. Well, I don't want that. I just want it for today. 
So where it says buy, it's going to give me the date, which is the following date. I'm going to tap on that, and now I have two choices here. I can say someday buy or on a date. On a date is what I want to choose, because that gives me today, tomorrow, Thursday, and so forth. So I want to set it for today. You can set your duration, so I can set it for 30 minutes if I want. Okay, I'm going to hit that arrow again on the right. Now, same thing. It's going to give me this time business. Hit more options and hit approximately. I want this one for 4 p.m. today. I'm going to hit that top right arrow again. Right there, I have it set. Now I'm ready to go. It's there. It says 30 minutes, approximately 4 p.m. notification. I'm going to hit add it. Done. So I prefer when you go into your ad screen to use to do more than quick add. Quick add brings you back into the screen. You have to go back into it again and re add and all that. It takes so much more time to do instead of just using to do. Now, if you want to create a habit, habits are about the same. Projects, if you have any projects or events, just creates you a calendar event, is all it does. You have that option to use those if you want to. Then, if you slide it across now, so let's say I tap, I tap that little little three dots on there. Now it's going to give me that option to find the time for another day or tomorrow if I can't do that one that certain day. And then you can hit that little check mark if you want to delete it or tap on the item and delete it completely. Okay, so that is pretty much my tips and tricks for Timeful. So if you, did, if you didn't like the last update, the 1.7.1, you thought it wasn't as user friendly, try these tips and tricks. Um, I recommend if you're going to do it, use the to do. Don't use quick add. Quick add is just a mess. Use to do, it'll get you through in one step, and that way you can start creating your to do's like you used to do with the original version of Timeful. Okay, so if you guys like this video, hit that like below. Give me any comments if you got any comments on those. Subscribe if you haven't, and I uh, will catch you guys later with more, more of my videos and more reviews. Thanks for watching.